landing. Okay. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, this is, hey monkey. This is kind of a, a very different video and I was contemplating it. I was contemplating on doing it or not doing it, especially I'm, I'm, the reason I have no shirt on is because I'm right out of the shower and I haven't been feeling myself lately, which is why I haven't posted videos. So I thought I would just kind of be honest about that um, as well as kind of show you a new product that I just got. But I am in the middle of my work day. So I figured I would just go ahead and jump out of the shower while all of this is still fresh in my mind. I don't want to film this multiple times. So I thought I would just go ahead and shoot it while, while it's still fresh in my mind. So I hope, I hope that this comes across okay. If you're just here for the quick uh, new product, like in the, in the title of the, of the video, uh, I'll put a time link below so that you can go ahead and check that out. But in the meantime, if you are willing to hear my little rant and as to why I've not been feeling it lately, uh, feel free to stick there. So if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Rocky. And in this channel, typically we cover uh, luxury unboxings, luxury reviews, and cover topics that are currently trending in the luxury community. Uh, but lately, I have been feeling this sort of type of way, and I thought I would be honest with everyone who's been watching. And I have to admit, I don't have a lot of followers, but the followers that I do have are amazing. I want to specifically give a shout out to Jack. He is a subscriber who messaged me on Instagram and sent me an amazing bottle of cologne from Tom Ford Tuscan Leather that was in my wish list video, which if you haven't seen below, I'll like try to link it up here. It was just kind of me saying some of the things that I would love to have, and Jack was awesome. And I really want to let you know, Jack, if you're watching, thank you so much. He really just made my month. I'm wearing it now. It smells amazing. I might actually do a review on it, except that I'm not very much a, a cologne guy. I love collecting them. I like smelling them, but I'm just not very knowledgeable on like the notes and the undernotes and the sillage and things like that. But um, thank you, Jack, so much. And thank you for everyone who watches my videos, comments, likes, subscribes. Please make sure to, to do that if you enjoy the videos and to hit me up on Instagram. Uh, I love interacting with anyone who enjoys the videos. So I wanted to do this video because I was posting twice a week. I was posting multiple times and kind of just sharing my passion for luxury goods and kind of things that I really enjoyed. It really helped me through quarantine. If you watch from the beginning, you know that I started this channel during quarantine, during shelter in place where we weren't able to kind of leave our homes. And this was an outlet for me to really focus or put some time and energy in something else besides being at home. And right after quarantine, uh, I ended, or I was broken up with, a four year relationship with someone who I was head over heels with. And it hit me hard, a little harder than I thought it would. My motivation to film kind of died. I didn't want to film. I didn't really care about certain things that before I was so interested in, for example, like fashion and luxury goods and unboxings and things like that. I mean, I would spend most of my time on eBay and on like the real real and then all of these fashion sites and all of these fashion blogs, keeping up with the latest collections and the newest trends and like the things that I would want. And I finally think it hit me while I was in the shower as to why that is. And it was because I felt complete. I felt amazing. I was dating this, this guy, this person who I held up on a pedestal. I, I really do mean that this guy in my book made me so happy that I had everything I possibly could want. I couldn't want anything else. This guy was everything for me. This guy, he doesn't watch my videos, so I'm not really concerned about posting this. I've been very, <laughs> very careful with, with, you know, posting on social media because it's no one's business. But um, I think it does pertain to kind of the luxury goods and my channel specifically, it's, if it's about me. But yeah, I figured that when I was with him, he made me so happy and I loved him so much that I was completely fulfilled. And the only thing I could possibly want for were materialistic things. It was the, the new Dior bag, or it was the new Louis Vuitton items, or the new uh, Yeezys, or a newer car. My focus was on materialistic things because I had everything I could possibly want. I have an amazing group of friends. I have a great family. I have a fantastic job, which I absolutely love. I mean, I was so comfortable with every aspect of my life except for materialistic items. And what could I want more than the new luxury goods? And I love the history and the fashion sense behind it that that was my focus. And when he got up and left, my focus has shifted. I no longer care as much about having that, that car 
I no longer care as much about having that bag and having those items. I still like them, don't get me wrong. I just no longer, it's not my priority. I think my priorities now is being self-fulfilled and being happy and being content with what I have and realizing that I am unbelievably blessed and that I don't need anything. I like those things, but I don't need them. Before I had to have them, there was no way that I could continue living, right? I was so dramatic without having those shoes or having that bag or having that car. Like my goal was to have every item on my wish list. That was my goal. I had a yearly wish list and my goal was to get it. I don't care how hard I had to work, but I realized it's because I was content in every aspect of my life. Now that he's gone, how do I get back there? Not how do I get back to wanting those material items, but how do I get back to being content alone? And that's something that really hit me. So I'm not posting as much because I'm really working on myself and really healing and kind of reprioritizing what's important, in, at least in my life. So for anyone out there who's gone through heartbreak and you have any suggestions, um, feel free to, to let me know at my Instagram or message me. I would be, I'd love to talk to anyone. Luckily, I think I'm doing really well. I've had, again, an amazing group of friends and fantastic family who helped me through it. Um, and it wasn't a horrible breakup. It was just shitty for me because I got broken up with, right? Um, and he was, in my mind, the most amazing person I could ever have. And I know that everything happens for a reason. And I know that I'm going to be okay. And that life carries on and that someone who really likes and respects me is going to eventually, you know, come into my life when I'm in that frequency level. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm still going to post and still do reviews. I kind of wanted to quickly cover the new item that I got, which is the Dior Saddlebag, which is on my wish list, which is amazing. Let me just tell you, this is probably the best bag I've ever had. Um, I actually got this on the secondhand market for an amazing price. I'm going to make a separate video when I'm feeling it, hopefully next week. Um, I use this every day. I'm also going to make a video of what I keep in here, how I use it. Monkey, hey, stop. Stop moving the camera. Um, and I'm going to show, also I want to do a video of how and where to buy secondhand goods where you're not getting scammed. So this one was still a little shady. I'm not too crazy about the seller, but I'm going to have it authenticated. I've only had it for like a week or so, but it's by far my ultimate favorite bag. And it's made me so happy in, in these times. Um, so yeah, I hope this video makes sense. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Sorry for not wearing a shirt. I really just came out of the shower. I actually have some food on the server now. I should probably get back to you. But I just want to post so everyone who's watched my videos, thank you seriously so much. Everyone who's who supported me through this, uh, I really do appreciate it. I know my videos aren't usually the best quality or content, but they're a great outlet for me. So thank you for everyone who's taken the time to watch them. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. Again, feel free to reach out on my social media at Avoiding Rocky. Uh, I love to connect with all of you there. So hope everyone's taking care of themselves. Thanks guys. Talk to you later.